Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. Some real big news. The newest update trailer has come out, which possibly and likely means that tomorrow is the dev server. Awesome. And there are some huge, huge announcements coming in this update. And uh, yes, I mean, this is possibly more hyped just due to the combined aircraft coming in this update than any other update in War Thunder's history. Uh, I could say that. So possibly more hyped than the F-14, than the A-10, because those came out and it was just a single vehicle each time, right? Like you had the A-10 patch, you had the F-14 patch. This patch is going to be a lot bigger and I'll play this trailer here. I have to mute it. So this will be an update analysis trailer analysis video real quick i will tell you this there's not all that much in the trailer but by golly watch the trailer on your own i'll try to link it down below you have to go on there uh, at least right now on the dev vlog or be directly linked to it i believe it's a private video or just one like it's unlisted but oh my gosh guys this is amazing so you're gonna see he's just walking you see a little bit of a well, uh, gear there and basically in the trailer you have three different nations right so you have uh, uh american i believe maybe english and then russian and right there we get our first shot of a panavia tornado that's right we are getting the tornado and the mig 29 <laughs> oh now i'm not really great at identifying missiles but is that an r73 Probably not. I'm probably mistaking that. Let me know in the comments below what exactly that is. You guys can help other people because I'm not great at identifying missiles. But the MiG-29 confirmed for War Thunder and the Panavia Tornado also confirmed for War Thunder. Look at that chunky boy. Look at all that stuff that it has. Oh my gosh. Now this is going up with not a full loadout. But oh buddy. Taking out a Harrier. And just continuing, and I really wish I could play the sound. Again, check out this trailer for yourself. I'll try to put my own sound in the background here if I've not already done so. Tornado, MiG-29, Tornado, bunch of things, some flares coming off, tons of bombs. Now, the Tornado is uh, more geared towards strike than the MiG-29, whereas the MiG-29 is a air superiority fighter. Uh, but it, of course, can also bomb, and also the tornado can also act as a fighter. Now, this is where the trailer gets real interesting. I'll leave you guys to guess what this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting the F-16. That's right, buddy. We're getting... <laughs> We're getting the MiG-29, the F-16, likely the A variant, probably one of the earlier blocks, and it has six hard points for missiles, likely AIM-9Ls, and, oh man, and we're getting the Panavia Tornado. Holy cow. Now, the great thing is, the MiG-29, you could argue, could be with several different countries, the F-16 could be with several different countries, and the Panavia Tornado can be several different countries. So more likely than not, we are going to be seeing numerous different countries getting these planes. Probably the French, and I would imagine the English getting the Tornado. I believe the French had access to the Tornado. I know the Germans did. The MiG-29, East Germany had the MiG-29, so that's possible. Americans definitely getting the F-16, and... Uh, and we are definitely going to be getting a little bit more, but there is a little bit more to the end of this trailer here, as you can see, getting up, getting up. And we have, oh, the SU-25 is coming back. <laughs> oh, really? They, they, they have a reprise of the old trailer. I actually, I did not see this one part. Huh. Anywho, we are getting the MiG- 29 the panavia tornado and the f-16 
all coming to War Thunder in this newest update, Apex Predators. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am actually genuinely surprised that they did not show anything else. No tanks, no whatever. A lot of the time they'll show, for example, like I believe it was when Sweden was first introduced. They showed like a convoy, maybe it was, where just a bunch of vehicles were going through and then they showed like a bunch of aircraft, tanks and all that, kind of all in one. And they'll show a bunch of different types of vehicles, but in this instance, we only really saw three. Now, of course, we know that there are some other vehicles coming to War Thunder with the newest update, such as the AMX 32105, I believe it is, as well as a few other vehicles like that SPAAG for Japan, but that's it. So this is really, really cool, guys. We are getting the MiG-29, the AIM, or the uh, F- 16a probably an earlier variant therein and also of course the panavia tornado and all of them are likely going to have very very similar capabilities and oh my gosh guys i am stoked let me know what you guys think in the comments below of course check this trailer out you need to see it war thunder does a fantastic job and uh making these trailers is where your 70 dollars pre-orders goes to so uh, all your money going to gaijin for those 70 dollars pre-orders they're going towards making these trailers look pr pretty by getting some underpaid intern to make them. But either way, again, thanks so much, and I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone, and man, I am stoked for this update.